we're actually going to do something a little different. We're going to try for the first time ever a McDonald's McRib. Have here McDonald's bag with French fries. Oh, hold on. Where's the camera? French fries. It's actually cold. I need to put it in the paper towels. I don't want to get my mat full of grease. Here's my straw. Oh, the paper straw. And they gave me a barbecue sauce that I asked for. Barbecue sauce. I actually have a second thing of fries. And that's because the Raptors won, I think. So we get like this deal. Uh, here it is. Okay, so we have our large fries fries, which are really not that filled anymore. They used to be called super size back in the day. We have our Coca Cola. Tastes like watered down Coke. We also have McRib. And like I said, then we got barbecue sauce. I love barbecue sauce. At McDonald's. That's why I dip my fries. So let's open up. McRib. I don't know if you can see this. My first impression. Here we go. Dun, da, da, da. Okay. McRib. Can't see it. Can you see it? It's all sloppy. Let's see, I'm trying not to drop this on my keyboard. It's all sloppy. Uh -huh. See that? Focus. So there's some pickles or something in there. Maybe onions. Lots of barbecue sauce. I have my French fries as well. Floppy French fries. They're lukewarm. It took me 45 minutes to get home. What I like to do is I like to take my fries, fries, and I dip them in the barbecue sauce. Oh, um, in case you guys didn't know how to eat. This looks like a really big mess. Like an extra paper top. Ooh, it's all slimy. Okay, this is the sandwich. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These are very awkward because I don't want to drop it on my keyboard. All right, ready for a first bite? Hope there's no bones in this. First bite. Actually, not bad. Got like it's a different kind of sauce, though. It's not the it's not the barbecue sauce, but the nugget dipping barbecue sauce. It seems to be cooked but thin. But the, the meat itself, I don't know if you can kinda of see this on the camera. So it's a bit thin. But it looks like it's cooked. Well, I would hope so, hey anyway. It's like we got some pickles and some onions on this. Mm -hmm. So now full disclosure, I'm not a huge McDonald's. Fan. I've had I spent thousands of dollars on McDonald's. But uh, over the years, it's it's fine. It's not my favorite. It it has the benefit of being open late. It's not priced very good anymore. It does give me a bad stomach after I eat it. Would I get the McRib again? I don't think so. I don't think it's a Big Mac. You know, our nuggets. I like the nuggets, like the Big Mac. I, I, I recommend to try it. There's no bones in it. It tastes okay. It does taste okay. Uh, is it worth what I pay for it? Hold on. Is there a receipt in the bag? So this is what I pay so you guys can see this. You guys can see this or not. It's eleven sixty seven for the McRib and a Coke and a large fries. The medium fries was free because it came with the it because it came with the Raptors thing. So yeah, so fourteen dollars and twenty five cents is what it costs for a McRib. It is a lot. Now, I hope you enjoyed my taste test of the McRib today. You probably all had it before. Uh, again, I, I I'd recommend trying it, but just be wary. It costs fourteen dollars Canadian. I... Thanks for watching.